Hello, Cletus here. Um, wanted to uh, do a quick video. Um, I picked up some toys recently. Um, we'll start with this one. This is a uh, River PC9 carbine. Um, I picked this up just about two weeks ago. It was uh, Friday before Labor Day weekend. Um, I've had it out to the range three times. Uh, the day I got it, I took it out just to sight in the iron sights. Uh, the next day, took my son out. Um, we put about 200 rounds through it. Um, mostly factory, having some issues with my hand loads. Um, I was trying, uh, this is the Arsenal 124 grain truncated cone, and this is the um, Lee uh, 356 uh, 1252R. Um, I had both of those loaded up with, I think it was 4.7 grains of CFE, which is basically the load I use in my um, SIG. Um, had an issue with them cycling well. Uh, I think they're just undercharged. The issue I was running into is um, this wasn't going all the way forward, and it wasn't like it had a problem feeding the bullets. You could just literally just tap this and you would hear it click, and then it would fire just fine. Um, so, uh, Jerry had mentioned um, on one of the, the, I think it was maybe a Georgia chat, um, that he uses 4.1 grains of um, tight group with this weight bullet. So, um, I ordered this red dot, this is a Holliston. Uh, it came in. I put that on, I loaded up some more test rounds with some tight group and also with five grains of CFE pistol for, you know, both bullets here. Um, went back to the range, sighted in uh, uh, the red dot. Um, the tight group was definitely better uh, than it was, but it's still not perfect. I still need to work on it a little. I think maybe try, I think I'll try maybe 4.2. 4.3 grains and see I had a couple magazines that ran clean um, But there's still a couple where like you get like one where it doesn't um, feed all the way and you just gotta give it a little tap um, And then you know factory ammo runs fine. So um, I know Uncle Jim suggested uh, maybe a heavier bullet I don't really have a heavier bullet um, In nine unless I want to try that, you know 155 grain arsenal bullet that I use for uh, 38. So, um, anyway, I'll still work on that and see what I come up with. Um, either I'll try different powder charge or maybe try seating them just a little deeper, um, create a little bit more pressure, um, or I might pick up some, you know, Acme 147 grain just to see how they will run. And, you know, if they work, I'll look for a mold or something. Um, I think Accurate has one and MP has one that I like, um, so we'll see. Um, next little item I picked up is something I've wanted for a while, just never owned, but a pair of um, dial calipers. This is the Mikitoyo, I think that's how you pronounce it, but I um, always figured having something that doesn't require batteries. Um, is a good idea and the ones that I had the cheap ones with the battery get really flaky um, they lose zero a lot they're, they're frustrating me to no end so um, wouldn't pick them up and the next two items I just brought home today um, so I figured you know before they decide to uh, ban these things um, I wanted to get a couple lowers stuff in the safe um, and then slowly over time work on some builds. So, you know, obviously I'll have to do state compliant builds with, you know, pinned uh, muzzle device and, you know, pinned stock or fixed stock and all that fun compliant stuff. But so this is what I got. Um, it's an air precision. Um, this one's, I got one in flat dark earth, and another one, it's basically the same receiver, only in black. I figured initially I'm going to build out one 
um, in 300 blackout, and then the other one in 223. Um, for now, anyway, um, and then maybe play around with uh, swapping out barrels and uh, who knows, maybe 350 Legend or, or something down the road. Um, but initially, it's just going to be um, the 223 and 300 blackout since. Uh, you know, I have bulk guns in those calibers. I already have everything for loading for those. Um, so, um, also, good news on the Walther. Um, well, hopefully good news on the Walther. Um, I shipped that out last Friday. Um, I, I called Walther. Uh, was on the phone with him for a couple minutes, explained the problem. Uh, they sent me an RMA form to fill out real fast, and they sent me um, uh, a FedEx label, you know, I could print. So, uh, filled that out, boxed it up, dropped it off at the FedEx building on Friday. Uh, Tuesday, I get an email from Walther confirming that they got it, um, that they usually take three to five days, um, and that they'd contact me if they found anything that required a charge. Um, I'm assuming everything went well because I got an email today from FedEx saying that uh, it'll be here Monday. So I guess they didn't find anything that required a charge. I'm assuming it's fixed. Um, so, so far it seems like pretty good customer service. It was no hassle. Um, you know, they didn't give me any questions about, you know, what were you doing to the firearm or anything. I just explained to them, you know, that what was going on with it not firing um, on single action. Um, but it would work on double action, and it looked like there was a pin that was missing. Um, that was it. So uh, it seemed like pretty good customer service. So hopefully that comes back Monday, and, you know, I'd like to try um, casting it again to see if, uh, you know, if it, that one problem was causing both issues. You know, was it just the firing issue, or was it also causing the issue that I was seeing with feeding the, uh, the lead bullets and having them get chewed up? Um, as you know as they were being fed so hopefully that all works out well um, so I guess I'll have to do another video on that later um, anyway I will be doing some 3030 videos um, just haven't had time to work on any yet hopefully I'll get to that soon uh, I did get a few packages out in the mail today um, so a couple people will be um, getting something soon um, but yeah, I think the first 3030 is going to be on the plinking load. I got a lot of questions on that one. I'll cover that one first before I get into any of the, you know, full house charge loads that I've been working on. But okay, I guess that's it for now. I'll wrap this up and uh, talk to you guys later.